Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing One Piece episodes 324 and 325. Um, after this, I know there is filler, and you guys told me to skip it. Uh, so we're going to skip that uh, filler section and continue forward from there. Just so you guys know, there's not going to be a break in between. Um, anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash AJRich123. And let's go ahead and start. That's kind of true. They could just turn around on them. You were cheering on the pirates? <laughs> Nope, they have to have some type of plan. <laughs> he, I mean, he built the ship. He knows the ship. <laughs> now that's back to normal. Chopper, Usopp, and him dancing. And now you got Frankie as a cheerleader too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like you're trying to do ninja signs. That's <laughs> that looks more like a teddy bear to me. Like a teddy bear face. Oh, okay. You can look at it like that. Shining bright through the sea. A thousand sunny? I guess as bright as a thousand suns. <laughs> French sunflower. The new battle Frankie Lion Gang champion. Ah, oh, poor Frankie. He doesn't. I knew it was going to be some type of Frankie name. It's saying goodbye. Does he? So did. Frankie installs something that can make them go super fast? <laughs> oh, you gotta love the confidence, though. Only Luffy could scream that loud. You could hear him from the other side. But that seems to be more like his normal voice. I'm gonna miss those characters, though. We got so used to them for so long. Um, where did that come out of? Where were you hiding that? The fuck? Motherfucker, this is such a crazy old man, Jesus. I mean, Luffy's pretty crazy, so we see where he gets his attitude from. Oh, Luffy's grandpa's a little bit more angry. I would say <laughs> how the hell did it fly though actually some type of way to what did what did Frankie install but where there's no wings oh so not permanently Huh, so you you'll never forget it. That's good. And this is what you were missing though with someone like this that can that's pure job is to fix the ship and work on the ship. <laughs> oh man, he is an interesting guy. Usopp's or Soge King's is not that long, right? I mean, humans aren't that long. So you can't wait that long before they do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe he can help them or something. You all get temp jobs. 
<laughs> oh, they got a new person to look up to that fast. Island in the Grand Line. Oh, there's Smoker. Ah, uh, yeah, there. The only one I didn't get to see was Soge Kings. C restaurant. Oh, okay. It's been a long time since we saw them. Holy crap. It's got to be proud of Sanji a little bit, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now they can laugh at him. If they ever see him again, they can just laugh at his face. <laughs> that picture. Oh, uh, I like how. Oh, that looks exactly like him. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, a couple hundred episodes ago when they were going back, uh, when they saw that like Luffy had a bounty and stuff. They were going through all these people we've met before in other places. We're getting kind of another round of that. And I like that. I, I've talked about this. I really like seeing people we haven't seen in forever. And that's what the show does really good. We get to see people that you usually would write off and be like, okay, they had their story, they're done. But we get to see them progress. And that's really cool. Pet? Oh my god. Poor Chopper. Pet. Did they see Chopper as like the Straw Hat's pet? Poor Lu. Oh, poor Chopper. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Boy, what's the number though? Oh, 30 million. Holy shit. Because. Oh, because he's the... Of course, his would be high because he's the one that shot the flag and he kind of made his name there. So they're going to give him a high bounty. I'm so proud of Usopp. Oh my God, that's awesome. He didn't get... He didn't get shafted like a Chopper did or, or Sanji. They didn't look... They don't look like they grew at all though. Oh, and Zora... Wow, they're going everywhere. I guess technically places that don't really, you know, should you really look up to pirates if you're going in a different direction? Uh, oh, Nami's hometown. Yeah, all these places we haven't been into forever. Nami's sister. They're probably, their phones are probably completely backed up. And look, I mean, come on. Elude. <laughs> Hers is the sexiest. Uh, some guy's like bedroom wall probably has a big poster of her like that. I'm sure. She got the good picture, okay? Uh, oh, Chopper's hometown. Some people are proud, some people are scared, but... <laughs> Look at... Oh, I wonder how she's gonna react to Chopper's, though. <laughs> of course, she wouldn't care about the bounty number, but it's still hilarious. Oh, Alabasta. Of course. I swear, I thought... Oh, man. I thought we were going to get more of Vivi when we were watching this arc. I really did. I thought she was going to join them or something. Oh, shit. And 50 berries. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so that's Dragon's face. I'm looking at him and he kind of, I mean... Okay, I I get the uh, kind of looks like him, but wow, I didn't think he'd have that kind of uh, like bad guy looking face. Interesting.
most the world but the world most heinous criminal i i mean i guess for the world most heinous criminal his look makes sense <laughs> Fishman Island. Huh. I, I really do like seeing I, I said this. I, first of all, I miss Vivi. I, I wish we got more of her, seriously. That was the probably the one thing I was a little sad about during that arc. I, I was really thinking we were gonna get more of her. Um and then on top of that, we got to see a lot of people we have we didn't get to see the first time they did the you know showing everybody and and stuff like that a couple hundred episodes ago seeing people we hadn't seen in a little bit i uh it was nice to go everywhere to everyone's kind of hometown that was pretty sweet actually um but uh, uh the most heinous criminal it, you know I, I, that title name is interesting for sure seeing the differences between you know luffy's grandpa and then dragon being luffy's dad and the extent of where everybody is at is just still strange to really comprehend that they're all on different sides. Like the whole, that family right there, there you got the Navy, you got a pirate, and then a whole criminal organization. It's just crazy to me. I don't know. Let's go to the next one. Oh shit, that guy. Blackbeard. Oh, so they're wait, wait, so they're gonna go there when they're already gone then? Oh shit! Oh, okay, so this is before. Okay, so they could have made it then. Is A stopping them from making it? Oh, yeah, the, that relationship is very strange. I feel tension here. That's pretty ballsy right there. Um, that's the wrong thing to say, too. Oh, he doesn't realize th they're brothers. Ooh. That should have been obvious. Oh, shit. Looks like you can't shoot him normally. I feel the tension, the, uh, the hate all in one here it's kind of crazy he's about to burn your asses we haven't seen this guy fight though so what is his like why is he followed what is his strength we saw him how he talked to luffy and everything but we really haven't seen him fight is he acting or or is he actually hurt like this might need to do some crunches that's what it looks like to me so they were specifically looking for devil fruits. So he killed his friend. Okay. Oh, okay. So he ate a devil fruit. Oh, Logia type. Holy shit. Dark. So he's made out of literal darkness? Isn't that kind of... I, you know, an evil guy, a bad guy made out of darkness? Double darkness, double bad? Fire? 
against darkness. Of course it's evil. It's darkness. Dark, dark fruit. But how do you attack with darkness? It's literally the dark side. What the hell? What does it do? Can it... Like it's... So can it can consume people or something? Or because it's not really doing anything to anything it's around right now. The buildings and stuff. Holy shit. Oh, oh, okay. That's what con being consumed by darkness is. Oh, okay, it does do shit. So this is how he can destroy an entire town. Holy hell. By himself. Power-wise, does this guy even really need help or like a crew? Holy shit. That is an insane power. No wonder he was looking for this specific one. It seems like there's no limit to the extent of stuff he can do with it. Literally, it puts the town as it's a nightmare. It consumes everything. He just consumes it by darkness. Whoa, what the fuck? He can literally consume it and then send it. At, wow. He can put it in the darkness. It's like putting it in a dark space and then lets it out in fucking shambles. That's how he can destroy stuff. That's a threat. That is a major threat. Fireflies. Oh yeah, we've seen that that you because you can become it, but he's using it. He's supposed to be darkness, right? So that's the downside. What? Oh! Holy shit! He can consume. You can literally consume people by the darkness. Oh shit! That's the upside. So he could easily beat him then. But he wasn't ready for it, so maybe if he's ready, it wouldn't go that easy. So as long as he touches you, you can't use your powers. So that's the kind of the way of consuming. It's consuming his power, stopping it. Kind of plays on the word consumed by darkness. That is tricky. Holy hell. This is a, this is kind of an ultimate fight here, but he already said it. It's like they're not really, it feels like they're not going all out. It just like he said, he's, he was watching him consume it. But you have to stop him where he's gonna go. Obviously he had to, this is three days ago. So he didn't go after Luffy or maybe he just didn't make it in time. Maybe this just slowed him down. Wow. Feels like a stalemate. God damn! That's a strong sentence. 
How could you look at yourself in the mirror, pretty much? Would you really want to follow somebody like this? Does... Holy shit! That's like the literal sun right there! Um, uh, darkness or fire? Or I guess you could say light against dark. What? Wait, so what happened? Wait, so it's gonna get and there there's like a filler there's fillers after this like you guys said what a free what a cliffhanger that we holy hell i can't imagine when this came out like you have to watch a bunch of filler after this humongous cliffhanger what the hell um it looked okay for me before that attack anyway they looked very equal in ability and it feels it felt like a stalemate to me, but then it's playing on, it's like showing his hat and it's showing like, it's just acting like he lost, but that would, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It feels more like, to me, it felt more like a stalemate, but it also just describes saying that this event uh, triggers something uh, like, uh, like a bigger series of events or something, but fighting like this could uh, make, you know, um, white beard or, you know, people with, uh, with ACE that want to fight them more. Um, I just don't understand how they get out of this. They, they use both their big attacks. Like, what do you do after this point? Holy, holy shit. Um, that's a clip. That's what you call a cliffhanger right there. I was not, we got so many things after this arc. I'm telling you, Normally after a arc in a show, it's like, you know, some friendly stuff, goodbye, okay, I'm going to the next place, and that's it. This conclusion gave us a bunch of reveals. Uh, I mean, you find out Luffy's grandpa, Luffy's dad, you see all the, these things happening, you see them running off, bounties, all this stuff, but on top of it, we get freaking Blackbeard versus Ace, holy shit, like, uh, this is intense uh, like absolutely intense i really don't know oh god i i hope because like i said before at the beginning of the uh be beginning of this reaction i said we are skipping the filler i'm hoping we get a uh like hopefully they go back to this because i i want to know what the hell happened this is supposed to be before they leave before luffy and them leave right so i'm guessing since we didn't see this is my thought here because we uh, they were going to go after luffy right and they were close enough they could go after luffy by ace fighting they were fighting here and they didn't show up at all this is three days later they should have been able to make it right i'm assuming this this is my assumption okay i'm not gonna say assumption because that means i it's a guess because i don't i'm not sure i i'm not going to assume because i don't think this is necessarily right i'm just kind of taking a wild guess i think that it had to have been like a stalemate or something and it slowed them and or they both got hurt and now he's not able to they're not able to go after luffy something had to have happened to stop i mean he had to at least have gotten hurt maybe both like i said i think it's more i thought it was really a stalemate they were more balanced so they both probably got hurt um and i i'm assuming that's why they weren't able to go after luffy because they because we didn't see them when they're leaving and everything that's my assumption because uh, that's my guess and that's what i'm i guess that's more for me i'm kind of hoping for that um but uh holy crap so exciting uh anyway thank you for watching these i really appreciate you guys watching these one piece reactions this has been such a fun series um like i said we're skipping the filler so i don't I don't know what's the next episode. I'll have to uh, kind of look it up when the filler's over, uh, see where the where the filler ends. Um, but that's where we'll be starting. Thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out uh, the episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash hjrich123. Um, Discord, Twitter, Twitch. Uh, I stream on Twitch every Monday at 1 p.m. PST. Definitely check out all those links in the description down below. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.